Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host, he's smooth as soft serve ice cream, hard as peanut brittle, and cutting edge as black sesame ice cream. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen, the ice cream bloke. Welcome to this episode of the podcast. We're going to entitle it, Upseller Palooza. But before we jump into that, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Dippin' Flavors. Now, I really would encourage you to go to the website, dippinflavors.com, and have a look at all of the products that they have either to put in or on ice cream. They've got toppings, particulates, fudges, as well as flavors, purees, extracts, and I'll tell you one thing, all of their pricing is landed at your back door. They get uh, great rates on shipping. So if you want to find out more about different flavors and what they have to offer and how you can get it shipped straight to your store or business, D-I-P-P-I-N, dippinflavors.com. Now, as I said, we're going to call this uh, episode Upseller Palooza because there's great value and great business revenue when it comes to upselling. So number one, it's important to have things on your menu that are upsellable. Hence the uh, waffle cone, one of the greatest upselling ice cream products in any frozen dessert business. We actually have it right uh, prior to place on our first menu panel in all of our stores that we had in Australia and in uh, the United States because people need to see that there is an opportunity for them to be able to basically upgrade or um, luxurize, luxurize if there is such a term, their particular menu item or their ice cream. And so one, it's important to have those menus or those items on your menu. So when you're talking about upsell, probably, as I said, the biggest is your waffle cones, but there are also the ability to upsell and put different toppings or added toppings on sundaes, on concretes, on McFlurries, and those kind of products. Extremely important that you offer that. Now, secondly, it's important to teach your employees how to upsell. So basically, the easiest way is to remind them, would you like that in a waffle cone? Now, sometimes your POS system, when you're tallying up the subtotal, you can actually put a prompt in there that will prompt the employee to ask a particular upselling question. So it might be if your employees are having a hard time remembering to ask, would you like that in a waffle cone? Have it printed up there so that when they subtotal it out and they ask the question, or or give them their uh, total, they might say, hey, would you like that in a waffle cone? One thing that we did in our stores in Australia was always ask the customer, would you like that, or would you like a pint to take home? Now, interestingly enough, after doing the stats, we found that one in every six customers who weren't coming in for a pint ended up bringing or buying a pint to take home. So that's one in six customers that added five to seven dollars onto their pricing or onto their purchase, which was extra revenue for us all because the uh, employee simply said, would you like a pint to take home? So it's important to have the items on your menu to upsell, but it's also important to be able to teach your employees to upsell. Um, they, that should be touched on in every staff meeting, on every staff open shift and closed shift. How do we do with upselling today? Now, one way to motivate your staff to do that, and many different ice cream shops do this, is they'll actually tally up a percentage or a cent amount for every upsell a particular employee has. So let's say Julie's on the register, and this month, all of the shifts that she had on the register, she basically upsold 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 waffle cones. Um, Or you can calculate how many uploads or upgrades she had when she sold uh, Sundays. Would you like extra coconut on that? Would you like some more hot fudge on that as an extra? So what you can do is take a cent amount, maybe five cents, 10 cents for every single upgrade, every single 75 cent upgrade that Julie sold at the front counter. She gets 10 cents of that. You might wanna make it into a competition, or however you wanna do it. It's important to have some sort of incentive for your employees to upsell. Now, again, it might just be reminding them to ask the question, but if you put some incentive in there, particularly a monetary incentive, at the end of the month, Julie's getting 30, 40, $50 that she hadn't really planned on, and it's a great way not only to create revenue, but to also give your kids the incentive to do so. I hope that you've got A, the items on your product to upsell, and B, teaching your employees how to upsell correctly. It's worth money in the bank. So again, we thank Dippin' Flavors for their sponsorship. If you have any questions, tips, 
or anything that's worked for you in your store that you want to share with our viewing audience, send us an email, steve at scoopschool.com. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video.